Hello, welcome to this tutorial video. This one's going to be focusing on the English language exam and it's basically looking at the mark scheme of last year's exam as well as last year's paper. The reason we're going to be doing this is just so you can see exactly what the examiner was looking for in certain things because people are asking how you get full marks etc and people are also asking me uh, with regards to going through a paper like this so hopefully it'll be of some use to you. Uh, the first thing you should actually notice that a QA have put in a kind of disclaimer just here. It must be stressed that the mark scheme is a working document and in many cases have developed uh, and expanded on the basis of candidates reactions to a particular paper. Basically because this is a new exam they're saying here we have the right to change some things etc etc so for any changes that do come in from the mark scheme for next time obviously I can't be held responsible uh, this is AQA's way of saying that similar to some condom packets that they're only 99.99999% effective and nothing can be 100% effective so I will put in AQA's disclaimer obviously if you are going to be marked slightly differently which I doubt very much then obviously that's going to be considered now that I've actually pointed that out to you so we go on then straight away to the first question and obviously in this new paper that you've got this mock booklet here where you just have to fill everything in in the actual piece rather than getting all the uh, sorry the exam booklet rather than getting all of the questions and then just writing them on paper so you know exactly which one you're responding to and that's actually quite a good idea because some students did mess up the numbering believe it or not so we start with the first question obviously the first thing I always look at to give you an indication here is the amount of marks the amount of paper or space that they actually give you is quite you know deceptive I mean whether you need to write two full pages to get the eight marks I wouldn't uh, sincerely say you have to write two full pages because remember it's all it's going to be quality not quantity so here the question what do you learn from Elizabeth Hyde's article about where she's been and what she's doing so obviously you would read the item there now what you're trying to do is you're trying to make sure that you hit these descriptors here so you need to offer evidence that you fully understand you need to show a detailed engagement with the text and the engagement there basically means not only do you understand it but you can kind of work with it so if for example the person is saying they've done a certain thing maybe you can actually pick out how proud they were with it or some of the difficulties you know you don't just pick out the pure facts you understand what the writer is trying to tell you you engage with it that way so it's almost like you can respond to it as an audience would be expected to respond to something like you know whether it's supposed to be something emotional or sad etc make perceptive connections and comments about people places and events so basically if a something is referenced or given some kind of detail then obviously if they say it was a cold and barren then you sorry if the place was mentioned as cold and barren then you might actually be able to pick out and say that you know it was difficult circumstances for her and a team or whatever the case may be offers appropriate quotations or references to support understanding so basically here offers appropriate quotations I mean that word appropriate basically means you not only are you picking out something that's very relevant you're also picking out so excuse me picking out something that's concise that's really important you're not going to pull out like whole chunks of text as you go through now obviously we're just going to be looking at the high level stuff so that's if you want the seven and eight I think it's still going to be the same you know you're going to need four or five marks on each at least you know just over about 55 60 percent of the mark to get a c and then obviously for an aa star you're going to need to get most of them so basically if you look at those kind of four points there i mean they're actually quite straightforward once you know what it is you're supposed to do so we'll look at very very briefly some of the things that may include now all this was the kind of stuff in the text so if you'd have got in about four or five of any of these points you know you'd be doing quite well uh, obviously the better the more you put in the better but remember you have to pick it out and explain it because you want to be able to pick out get the evidence and also engage with it to so show an explanation of it so for example they picked out for this one just so you get an idea of, of what to kind of write Elizabeth Hyde went rafting and she went there who went with her how long they spent where they were what they were actually doing while they were there she went with the amount of people again and her feeling there the engagement she was surprised and uh, the close to the others meant there was little privacy um, da -da -da -da. she describes it as spectacular da -da -da -da. so again you can see all the way through that she's uh, sorry this that what the examiner is expecting from you is the evidence to show that you've understood because these are all things she did the engagement to actually show how she felt and the connections she was making and the connections about people and places so for example she had a Disney-like experience so they're like in whatever it is she was doing it actually felt like she had a Disney-like experience now you notice each one of these kind of is backed up with a quote Quotation. let me just make sure that I'm not lying to you there okay so that one doesn't that one doesn't that one does that one does that one does that one does obviously this would be boring if I keep doing it but you see a lot of them there apart from where it's just cold hard facts you know I just kind of backed up with quotations and obviously all these would be in quotations as well because where else would you get it from so hopefully all that there shows you how you'd get the seven to eight marks there you want to make sure that you've got the 
evidence picked out that you've understood that's what you're trying to show first and foremost and try and show you've understood as much as possible it's um it's a basic kind of rewriting um, element but you have to show that you understand the writer's point of view because the question is what do you learn from her article about what she what uh, sorry <laughs> excuse me where she's been and what she's been doing so the where and the what there are really important and obviously the learning you know because you're learning in that kind of, kind of nice vague word to let you allow sorry sorry to allow you to put in all your perceptions and, and show your engagement with it so hopefully that's question that kind of question covered